Welcome back to Mr. Rules Class, where we make every day a good day. And today, let's talk about the 13 Colonies map. What are we supposed to do here? Well, uh, on Google Classroom, I gave you the instructions, and we're going to focus on the second two parts of the instructions on this paper. Label each of the 13 colonies and color each region a different color and create a key. Now, how do I know what the 13 colonies are called? Well, a few ways. One is I've got Mr. Rule's website I can uh, consult. I can look at the internet. I can look at my notes. I can think in my brain because the colonies are basically the same as our modern day states. Or I can scroll down. <laughs> hey, look at that. I've got an answer key right there with my 13 colonies. And uh, guess what else is labeled? The colonial region that each one belongs to. So with that in mind, let's start labeling. I'm on Cami right now. And so uh, all you did is in your assignment, you clicked on uh, open with Cami and you opened that I'm going to make my font a little bit bigger so it's readable. And let's start in the north, Maine, right, which was part of Massachusetts. I think that's what it said. Do we need to double check? Let's double check. It says part of Massachusetts, Maine. Okay, so Maine was in parentheses. Massachusetts, Maine. Okay, Massachusetts. Maine was part of Massachusetts. There we go. Okay, so the other part of Massachusetts, of course, is right here. Wait, did I spell it wrong? Massachusetts. Let's double check our spelling. Massachusetts. I spelled it correctly. All right, then New Hampshire, Hampshire, New Hampshire, a road, there we go, Road Island, right, and this is a neck. Cut. Connect cut. Right. New Jersey. Don't forget about. Oh my. Don't forget about New York. Oh, and let's make sure we spell Connecticut correctly with one T at the end. Pennsylvania and Delaware. Delaware, it's where Joe Biden is from. Maryland, of course, President Trump was from New York. Joe Biden's from Delaware. Virginia. North Carolina, South Carolina, and Georgia. Okay, now for the fun part where we get to actually color in the, uh, the colonial regions. So here's how we want to do it. We want to make our stroke thickness real big. We want to make our transparency mucho transparency so we don't cover up all of our um, words and then we just pick a color so I'm gonna pick that color and I'm gonna color in the southern colonies are gonna be pink pinkish and there we go coloring these in and I finished coloring those in, so now on my key, I'm going to color in 
this box beside colors, Southern Colonies. Pink. All right. Now, what do you think I should use for the middle colonies? Yeah, let's do green. I like that color, too. So, I color in my middle colonies, green, including, don't forget, D -d 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 Delaware. D -d 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 Delaware. All right. So I'm going to color these in all the way. Got those colored in all the way. And now my middle colonies are green. Very good. All right, next, my New England colonies. I'll do, I'll color them in yellow. And what about Vermont? Ah, that's what I thought. Vermont stays white because it was claimed by both New Hampshire and New York. Of course, neither of them ended up getting Vermont because Vermont became our 14th state. That wouldn't be till after the American Revolution, of course. So we color in New England and then on our key, color in New England. All right. And there she blows. We've done it. Let me color in that little area there. There we go. All right. We've got our map all colored in. And, of course, you can just click the turn in button. It'll turn it in, and I'll be able to see your work. Uh, well done. All right. Don't forget to go out and make it a great day.